Yeah, they got four of the fifth. Yeah, maybe. He lost to Smasher, right? Yeah, so he got fifth. Yeah. He got fifth. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um, I'm remembering yeah. Bracket. I watched the entire tournament for once. I had to watch two Snake, Kepler and Kesev twice, and then this is the third time I had to watch Kepler and Kesev in the last three days. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm leaving. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Glacy. I'm sorry I'm leaving. And you're That's gonna have okay. to commentate this. All alone. <laughs> Unless right. someone in the back. No, they're having fun. They're having, they're actually having fun, which is That's what we're not doing right now. Actually wild. I couldn't imagine. All right. Okay. I'm going to get out of here. Be Bye. safe going home. I love you. Yeah. I love everybody here. I hope everybody complains about my commentary because it does suck. And I agree. And I just wanted to it's have true. fun with Advo. I love commentating with Advo. Hey, Gucci. <laughs> Speaking of bad commentary, when is the next commentary tier list? Oh, no. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to bring it up. Alright. I'm People Audi 5k. Like People don't like your opinions? Alright. Bye. Alright. I'm all alone now. For the next 30 minutes. So game one. Low one. Versus Advo. I actually haven't... I've seen Low One play like twice since this game started. I know he goes to LFG usually, and I've been to a couple of them, but never when he's there for some reason. So I haven't actually witnessed this happen. I know Advo and Low One have probably played a ton of times, because Advo is well known for farming LFG. So yeah, I'm actually curious. Does Low One camp as much as everyone says he does? Oh my! Gosh, the forward tilt. That was really well done. Oh, Wario combos. Only 21. There we go. Give him the clap. Oh, that almost killed. Well, he's at 150. Never mind. No questions asked. Oh, okay. That's actually really smart to wait on the ledge. Now I think about it. I can't imagine Wario gets hit on ledge by a charge shot. Oh, good shield pressure, knowing that that will poke. I was not paying attention to low one's shield at all. I can't believe- that was really smart. His shield was a skittle. Okay. Took that, but that was crazy early to take a stock, so... Low one's kind of got the game set out for him, unless you can see a Samus stock. Which I don't remember seeing one of those today. Oh, that was a good setup, but I'm surprised it didn't combo. That was almost a ton of damage. <gasps> that worked? I can't believe he didn't get hit by the up B. Alright. Evo's starting to regain momentum here. Got him on the ledge. Very good reversal. Oh! Nice little mix up. Platform kind of stopping him from punishing that. probably say Lowe's name when I'm referring to him. If I just say him, that can be either of them. Oh my... That was a very convincing game. So I was told that this would be extremely campy, but... They're kind of dancing around each other this game. Also... Yeah. He's playing pretty aggro. Granted, he's still low one, and he still has the patience of a madman. It's an interesting Warrior. song choice. This is Advo's pick. I believe that. Seems like an Advo type of song counter pick. Starting off game two. Huh. Oh, that was a really good job. He was looking for an opening there. So yeah, I'm not seeing camping at all from low, believe it or not. So far he has looked for openings, and then his his advantage stays honestly really patient, so I can understand why people would call it camping. But like, if you're waiting for your opponent to land, it's not it doesn't count. Oh, 
Oh my, that was a really clean setup. It's a good bait. Because before, he used a uh, run up down tilt to hit him on the ledge, so he ran back and forth to try to bait him into it. Plus, that B reverse charge shot almost hit him. I know a lot of Samus's game plan is anti-airing people, but I still am really impressed with how Edbo anti-airs people. Interesting charge shot. I'm not sure what that would have covered. That was a good bait, but the platform move. I don't know how I feel about the full, uh, the fully charged charge shot just on the shield, and that's just, that's good for Sam. <laughs> really good patience from low. <gasps> the cross up. Oh, F smash? Interesting. That I guess that is the good confirm. It's just because of the stage. He's so far to go, he didn't die. Not confirm, but that's the optimal punish, if you will. Yeah, I'm really impressed with how low always knows how much time he has to punish stuff. Because you rarely see him miss a move. When it's intended to punish, at least. That's a good parry. I wouldn't have expected that up till, or up air there. seeing Low try to weave his way in. Also, Waff's on deck. So this game is honestly really even. If not, Wario favor just to the Waft. Ooh. Oh no, that's unfortunate for him. Waft's down, so now he's gonna have a little bit of trouble closing out stocks. Classic use of charge shot. Oh my gosh, that did 35. Some more ledge trap. Oh, actually, I never thought about it, but just seeing low roll into him, I kind of realized that being directly in front of Samus is not that bad. Just because if you do manage to spot dodge Samus's grab, you're in a good spot, and being directly in front of Samus keeps you safe from out of shield options. That was such good timing. Yeah, I actually really like the option to switch sides there. I don't want to mess with getting on ledge at the same time as someone else, especially with Samus. Ooh. I have a reeling back a little bit from that one. I don't blame him. That's... That hurts. Granted, he's still up. A whole 82 on the new stock. And there's no waft, so this game is mostly closed for him, but you never know. Well, one's kind of struggling to get his starters here. Yeah, so once again, he rolled into him and just Edward rolled away because he didn't want to deal with it. It's actually really smart. Alright, it's starting to get scary now that he's at uh, 120 and Waff's starting to charge again. Because they're honestly running the timer this game. A minute 35 left. Now 
once again like to say, I don't consider low. Ooh, that was really good. I'm not really considering what low one's doing right now to be camping. It's just, it's hard to get in against Samus, especially when you don't have a projectile. And even if you do, if you're like Snake, you saw what happened to Kesa. Like, you can play the throwing stuff at each other game for a while, but Samus usually wins that. So it's kind of a struggle. I do think, though, even though he's being approached, or even though he's approaching a bunch, I feel like it could also just be because it, because of the reasons I gave you that he's just forced to. Maybe given the opportunity, he would camp. Actually, I believe it, knowing how he plays. But that's not happening this game. Right now, we have some smart starters. I don't know why he grabbed there. Down tilt him. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised. Low one. I heard he doesn't really play this game, but his actual movement is extremely clean in terms of him getting moves out in very weird positions. Like, yeah, and how he drifts after getting hurt, hit by certain moves. It could just be fundamentals from other games, but it's still really impressive to me. I see a lot of people don't have that skill. Interesting shield pressure with the bike. Yep, there's the scary part about being right up close. Holy crap, that killed. But yeah, the scary part about being right up close is that if you do manage to spot dodge Samus's grab, there's a lot of time to punish it. And that's the most threatening part. The other the other out of shield options from Samus don't really hit in front of him. Oh no, the poor bike. Oh, I'm starting to run with this game a little bit. It's almost up an entire stock while he still has not used his lock charge. Oh jeez, that empty hop was interesting. Okay, excuse me? <laughs> was that single hit in air? I wasn't looking fully. Good bait. Not gonna kill it quite yet. We're starting to reach that percent. 170. This is honestly super scary for Advo. Because you saw what Max Rage Warrior did before, but yeah, that was a good anti -air. Chasing him out of the bike jump. I really like that run to shield from low one, but it didn't quite work out for him. The idea was good though. Alright, more ledge. Okay. I'm surprised. I was thinking about it, and I don't think any of Wario's smash attacks are fast enough to hit when you drop shield from ledge attack. I know a lot of characters can drop shield F smash on neutral. Not neutral get up, on get up attack. It was a smart roll, but he didn't quite have time to grab him after. Now Samus can start to ledge trap. Also, really unfortunate that the upwards angled. Forward smash didn't hit for him. Alright. I think that's max charge loft. So it's not too much point to run other than just avoid projectiles. Yup, so much shield damage. Oh my god, that's such a good use of down air. Some good bombs. Oh, falls in. He fell out of the setup just barely. Once again, low one's living to absurd percents. 182, max rage, and Waft is still there. I don't think Waft would have killed, but he definitely could have gotten one if he wanted it. And he may as well save it for, you know, when he, know it, when he knows 100% that it will. 
because just playing the entire game, having it as an option available is super threatening. Some good nares out of shield. Finally dying at over 200% to an up air. Not the move you'd think would do it. But uh, at that percent, it can be literally anything. Oh, that was a smart parry. <gasps> you hate to see it. It's still extremely hard for Advo to come back here. Yeah, now he's about to get ledge trapped while he's at 138. Yeah, that F-Tilt would have killed. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that punished her. Advo's starting to get a little momentum here. 64. Ledge trapping. The bike is a bit unfortunate, yeah. <gasps> Jumps out of the situation instead of rolling. Oh jeez, that could have been the stock. Not with... Not with Wario's moveset, but... Oh my, he kept pummeling. He said, I know you're not mashing. 160, you already gave up. Okay. Charge shot is ready. So this is interesting use of it. He'll get it back real quick though. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so intense. Risking it with the grab, that could have been the stock. Down air? Yup, that's doing it very convincingly. That's crazy. I didn't think down air would send that far. But you know, it happens. Alright, tournament game for Advo here. <laughs> well, I guess technically for low one, but I mean, this is low one's last game. Or not low one, this is Advo's last game if he loses. Victory Road, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. You heading out? See ya. Camel is leaving. Is Maroons is still here, grinding out with low one? Yeah. Oh, wait, is that Kepler? Holy crap, Kepler's still here too. I could be grinding out games right now. Getting that matchup experience, but no, I'm out here commentating Samus versus Wario. Sorry, Dark Samus. This is definitely an Advo counterpick song. Kalos, Pokemon. Game 4. That's actually a good grab, just didn't hit it. Oh my. The range on that, that move is privileged. It's not perfect, but it is very privileged, and I love the way Advo uses it. And actually, I know a lot of people won't like me for saying this, but I really like Samus' kit in this game. They actually, like, made her a character. Designed well. Some things are frustrating dealing with, but it's cool if they made an actual character like this. Good ledge trapping from low. Also, it's really smart to just wait and uh, get the grab there. I feel like I see most Wario players do it, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it personally, so it always surprises me. Ooh. Cheeky backer. Oh. Nope. A very close game at the start of the. Catches the landing and takes the stock kind of early. Not really, but. That up is huge. Oh, as I was saying. Also, it's unfortunate he fell out of it there. <gasps> That's damage. Okay, not much. It always surprises me how short Wario combos are. I always think of him as like a, a combo heavy rushdown character, but like, it's usually just two pieces. Okay, kill him with the up throw. Unfortunate thing to kill him with, but uh, he didn't take too much damage to stock. It's not that bad. Uh, we'll see low one ledge trap again, but 
No to get anything off of it. Charge shot grab forwarder doing an absurd amount of damage. Oh my. Yup. That's what you get for the flaccid grab. Very unfortunate. But that was also a super well timed punish on low one. If Advo can take the stock soon, it honestly won't be that unreasonable for him to come back. Smart empty hop, but he's still got caught with the upbeat. <gasps> Trying to catch him out of the bike, very close to doing it. That was, okay, I was about to say, that did not look like the back air hit. That was the weak spot. Okay. Yeah, that was really smart. He used movement again to force him off the ledge. Not force, but to bait him off of it. And then just got stage control. You know, I wasn't really thinking about it at the start of this game. But low one could win the most stacked VTC of the year. So far. And the only one. But still, we haven't had a VTC this big in a minute. Granted, bracket setups matter a lot, but still, with all the people who entered, it would be kind of crazy if low one won. Like, he's the sixth seed here, even given his results. Oh my, is that it? Oh, we're not going home early. Samus. Oh my gosh, she went for it all with that. This is scary. Low one's good at ledge trapping. Oh, tries to get the neutral get up or jump and does not get either. <gasps> that was almost. Wait, low one angles his shields. He's a smart boy. Okay, this is actually super close now. Charge, yup. Oh my gosh! That Okay, there we go. He gets it on the way back. Edvo holding on for dear life, making it to game five. We could see a reset. Could not. Kind of crazy. Also, there's an open setup still. That's actually wild. You never see those at the ends of this detect those. I heard Smashville from someone. That transition is really cool. Uh, I, Gushi, I thought you couldn't hear me from here. I'm so sorry for what's happened. What did I do wrong? I thought you couldn't hear me from here, and I was feeling pretty good about myself. Like, dang, my commentary can be as bad as it is, and I won't get cooked by Gushi for it. But you know, chat would let me know. They probably already have. <laughs> I know my fate. Alright, that's a really good start from Advo. Down air, up B. Like we said before, Advo uses Samus or Advo uses Samus' down air very well. More so than I've seen any other Samus players, really. Oh my gosh. Another down air up B. Send him to the skies. <gasps> Trying to chase him all the way out. Oh my god. The pressure is kinda ridiculous. Also Yoshi's. I can see it very rarely messing up a charge shot because of the slant. Only for hitting like near ledge, yeah. Not for actually once he gets off of it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he got away with that? I thought... Okay, I guess the second hit might have hit his shield and that tripped it up. I thought there was no way he was getting away with that. That was a really good combo. Low one starting to take this game back. Oh, it's a good dash back, but he didn't get in quite fast enough to punish him for it. Honestly, an even game here, because they're both at kill percent. Okay. Have him with a back air. 
Now it's a bit harder to kill without rage, but it's not too bad. Got a charge of waft there. Oh. Okay. For once, that is not killing. Near max rage on Samus. Okay. Catching the roll with an up smash. I went for an empty off again. I thought I saw shield come out, but he might have second guessed himself or something. It's hard because you can't really react to that range to anything. So sometimes you'll go in with like an empty hop shield, and then you'll assume from your, what you can react to that they didn't do anything and then drop shield, but then they do something. It's an unfortunate situation to be in. Speaking of unfortunate situations to be in, being a Samus on ledge. Wall jump. Okay. Have yeah, kind of just walking back to the stage so I can start playing his game again. Oh, I forgot how far that reached. <gasps> he almost jumped into it. Oh my, that up tilt almost hit. <gasps> the bike. The bike almost made it hit, and it also did save him. I can't believe that angle. Still have his, yeah, he has to. No, he doesn't have his jump. That's unfortunate. I assumed with the way he was recovering that he still had it, but he doesn't. So yeah, awful situation for Advo to be in. That is full charge waft. While Max Rage Wario, he will actually die to it now. He could go for it here. Nope. It would have been kind of risky. Yep, that'll do it. All right, honestly, even with Waft Up, this is still super doable for Edvo. It's just, he's got to make a lot of right guesses. Yup, that is not a right guess. Low one taking the first VTT of the year. Again, very wild considering the people here. He's the sixth seed. Kepler's here, Kasev's here. Goma was here, Dilster's here. Hex. Everyone was here. Unknown. Hello, friends. Gushi giving out the payouts to the last two people. Oh, yeah. I've got the little name thing. Follow me at underscore Glacy on Twitter. I want to know what, Lo I know what Gushi's telling him. Something about being so much easier. Honestly, payouts may have been screwed because there were a bunch of carpools today. So Gushi had to give away a bunch of ones. So he might have to split something? I don't know. Welcome back, Gushi. What? This state's rough. That's how you feel? Yeah. Well <laughs> you sponsored this guy. What do you mean it's sponsored. rough? Sponsored. He hasn't been under Gushi in like over a year. Yeah, I know. You should still be happy for him. Even, oh, oh even I am. He, I was about to say, even if he's... Your I'm probably happy more. If you will. I'm probably happier for Ryan because now she can go home. Uh huh. She looked kind of bored. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um. Do we want to do ads real fast? Sure. Sure. Oh, so sweet. All right. Follow Gushi Gaming at Gushi Gaming on pretty much everything. I'm proud of you. Didn't you not have Gushi Gaming on something before? It was Twitter. It was. It used to be at hashtag Hot Soup. Now it's because that was an inside joke. Okay, I wasn't there for that, but I... Okay, whatever. Anyways, subscribe to Gushi. $5 a month. You can directly support Gushi and the stream. Cancel any time and retain your month's subscription. I would say once uh, Twitch actually pays me for November. For November? Because they're technically like two months behind. So this month's paycheck is November's. Once they actually give that to me. Um, That's, That's yeah. unfortunate. So you get paid out 45 days after the month ends when you accrued like $100 kind of thing. So... Twitch is uh, a mess. No, it, that's the way it's always been. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't make it good. I, uh, I mean, I guess. But um, once I get that, I'll actually be buying some stream stuff. 
Oh, what kind of stream stuff? Are you uh, well, I mean, it's not anything crazy. More camcorder cords, more audio cords. Uh, if MSU doesn't have the headphones that just like went missing, I'm gonna grab two more pairs of headphones because we actually haven't had them for doubles. Oh, really? Because I lost two pairs. Wait, you lost pairs? I, yeah, I have no clue how. So the That's only place so I can think I've lost them was MSU. So uh, Artisan's supposed to message me tomorrow if they're there. If not, uh, I'm I hope those. you find them because. I f I'd feel really bad if you have to pay for headphones again when you've already done it. Uh, Anyways. It's, yeah, it's not that bad. Um, what else? I got to get more fans for the PC. Okay, so, so it's, it's, no, like, it's no stream upgrades, just, you know, Yeah, I think making right, your I system think more tolerable. I think before Frostbite, I might splurge and get, like, one. Oh, yeah, you're streaming Rivals there, I'm assuming. Yeah, see, here's the thing. Besides the one time Ori's like, yeah, you're going to be there, I've not heard anything about Frostbite. That's kind of a mess. Anyways. But actually, hold on. Speaking of Frostbite, because Ori sent me a new graphic for it. Ooh. All right. Screw what I was about to say. Let's look at Boom. this. Boom. Event registration closes in, wait. About okay, that's next month. I was about to say, wait, if that's January, it's already done. No, yeah, it's like a little bit, a little bit less than a month. Yeah. So get on top of it if you already haven't. If you haven't with in Michigan, if you live in Michigan and you have not signed up for Frostbite yet, what are you doing? And you can make it. What are you doing? All right. Upcoming tourneys. Respawn e-lounge tourney. You're streaming that, right? Yeah. It literally opened up. And they're up. having you run it too, right? Yeah. It opened up a quarter mile for me. So That's you're kind of obligated. Well, he re they reached out to me. Oh, cool. That's actually uh, really cool. Because they were like streaming sponsors. Yeah. But I didn't take that just because I don't really need it unless they want uh, like offer more. But I'm like, yeah, I can help. A little nervous because the space is definitely a little small. Which yeah, is why we'll we put see. the cap on. Yeah, just wait a couple. You know, uh, wait a little bit. I'd probably, I'd like it to be 32, but he kind of wanted to go all out. But we have like 18 pre reg right now, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I can't imagine too many people will go. I would go, except instead I will be at Frosty Fostings in. Oh, that is this weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not on the graphic. Well, that's because you're not streaming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, World Eight. What is that? Uh, so that's Hell Havocs monthly. Mm -hmm. Um, but World 8's a reference to Super Mario Bros. 3, yeah. which is Bowser Land. So they got bounties on all the Bowsers. Oh, yeah, that's, I've seen the graphics for and that. And the, the Bowsers are worth more depending on their seed. All right. I've heard many people want to go to farm that, so I'm just letting you all know. There are bounties on Bowser players. They actually announced two today. Two more? Yeah, Strawberry Pimp and Grandma. All right, Ohio. so that's basically like we have more Bowser players than I thought because there are already a couple. Well, Grandma's Ohio. They're flying Schnickley in. Um, they're flying him in. I guess yeah, he's their boy. So. Yes. Well, that and, understandable. Um, Advo, you. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got some words for us? There's no way. There's no worse way to end a tournament than getting shitted on. Speaking the truth. Yeah. That's supposed to be your job. I can't fart on people. I know you. Example. I know you can't do it literally, but I mean. I don't got the shits, man. Warrior's the mad shitter, dude. He understands when to shit.